Yo, yo. Yo, yo. What's good? What's good in the hood? Yeah, on this beautiful day in the shots. Still a little cold outside, but it's warming up. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna get straight to the point because I don't usually do this uploading stuff. You know what I'm saying? All this, all this, this, this madness that we call madness on here. But uh, I do want to say that um, I know the real reason why the California niggas. Them OGs in California are mad at Charleston White because he hurting their legacy. I'm just gonna flat out and say it. I'm just be to keep it 100. He's hurting their legacy, and uh, and that's all they got, man. So they, you know, when you ain't doing, when you ain't got nothing out here, and you, you, you know, you sitting on your hands, man, and you ain't putting no work, no real work in in the community. You ain't had no job. You ain't never been a, a upstanding citizen. All you got is that to hold on to. I mean, what else you gonna leave, you know? I mean, you gotta listen to what Charleston is saying. That little dash that he's talking about between your birthday and your death date on your tombstone, like you said, that's your legacy. And because that dash that these OGs have represent negative, you know, when you take that away from them, it's like taking pride away from them. You know, it's like hurting their pride. They have nothing left. You know, they make money off this to put in their pockets. You know what I'm saying? So that's just my opinion. I just feel like, you know, he hurt their legacy. He hurt their legacy. You know what I'm saying? They mad about it. You know what I'm saying? So they want to hate on him. But what he's saying is right. You know what I'm saying? We've been we've been submissive to this to this bull crap, man, for so long, you know. And I know y'all probably tripping because, I, you know, but I'm trying to work on work on my talk, man. You know, I'm trying to work on my speech. You know what I'm saying? But they said a man who cusses a lot don't really have too much to say. You know, to don't have the words that you know that he want to say on that's on his mind. So, but yeah, he he hurting them. You know what I'm saying? And hey, that truth is the truth. Sorry that it hurts. You know what I'm saying? They always say the truth hurts. So, I mean, only thing they can do is switch up what they do. You know what I'm saying? Stop. You know, doing the, doing a dummy. You know. Leave Mr. Charleston alone, man. Let that man do what he doing, man. He all good with me, you know what I'm saying? I'm a health, I'm a counselor. I'm a mental health counselor, so I, you know, I, I work in that field, so I understand where you coming from, the kids, and you know, working with them, with them adults that's broken, man, that's hurt. You're right, Frederick Douglass said it, man. You can't repair them broken-hearted guys, man. You got to work with the kids, so. Salute to that man for doing that. You know what I'm saying? I have no problem, Mr. Charleston. I'm from the Shy. You know, I'm not from Texas. I'm not from Fort Worth. I don't know anything about that, but I know the work that he's putting in. I looked him up. You know, I, my mother put me on, Mr. Charleston. Her friend put her on, and she introduced me to him. You know, yeah, and Charleston talk a lot of shit, bro. He do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he do. And I, I liked it. First, I didn't. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, man, who is this dude, man? He said it. Like, a lot of us didn't. You know, but I never hated him. You know what I'm saying? I just, you know, because for me, trying not to, you know, use those words, you know, those vulgar words all the time. You know, I'm trying to work on my language. You know what I'm saying? Because I got a potty mouth. You know what I'm saying? I got my mouth is filthy. Man, soap, laundry detergent, nothing can't can't do nothing with this. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to work on that. You know what I'm saying? So listen, I'm like, man, I can't listen to this. But then, you know, I got past the the character and listened to the message. You know what I'm saying? And I got the game that he was saying and what he was giving, man. And, and shout out to his homie, Dewberry. I watch him too, man. And he say a lot of positive stuff too, man. And y'all boys on the money, man. Keep that going. You know what I'm saying? I wish, kind of wish we had that here in my own city. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it, it'll come. You know, we got some people probably out here working and doing something. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man, them dudes out in Cali, man. I don't know what to say, man. Y'all might as well just... Get a job, go do something else, man. <laughs> Find a career to do, man, because y'all ain't hurting this dude, man. He he gonna say what he gonna say. He gonna live how he gonna live. And 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 y'all have, you know, put a bad taste, in, you know, out there. You know what I'm saying? So y'all left a bad taste out there. So, you know, I mean, everywhere. You know what I'm saying? You know, just like the rest of us, we all used to be gang members. You know what I'm saying? 
I used to be a gang member. You know what I'm saying? But I'm no longer that. I pay taxes. What do I look like still holding on to that lifestyle? So, yeah, I kind of feel it now, you know, on that. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out to them, man. Keep doing what y'all doing, man. Keep working. You know what I'm saying? But y'all legacy is hurt. Man, it's hurt. <laughs> man, y'all hurt out there. Y'all want this man dead. You know, damn man, Kevin, I'm talking about putting a price on his head and all this goofy stuff. Man, put a price on these kids, man, so they can have some some school supplies or something, bro. Like, all this goofy stuff, man. What's all this gangster stuff for, man? All this gangster, this, this gangster stuff, man. What's going on with this, man? What, what we doing? We want to threaten a grown man for speaking his mind and saying, you know, what's right. You know what I'm saying? We want to hurt him, but we got kids that can't get no clothes, man. That man deal with kids every day. He always pushing and moving and doing something, man. And y'all gonna put a bag on his head, but not a bag in his pocket to help the kids. Come on, man, just show who y'all are. Y'all true character, so. You know, but who am I, right? Yeah, that's what y'all would say. Like, who is this nigga? Who is he? Who, who is this nigga? What do you what, what, what think he is? What, what do you think he doing? You know what I'm saying? Oh, nigga, what you mean who I think I am? I'm a human being just like y'all. That money don't mean nothing to me. Bro, I done seen it, been there, done that, been around it, family, friends, all that, bro. Like, y'all can miss me with that. Y'all just happy to see that. So that's who I am. I'm a regular ass Negro, nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Regular. And I have an opinion, and I say what I want. You know, and I do what I want. You know what I'm saying? When I do what I want, you know, that, you know. But you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, that's all I want to say, man. And I want these, I want these people out here, man, to understand that. You know, you can't, you can't stop good. No matter what you do, if you think about it, in the Roman days, you know what I'm saying. Everybody knows the story, but nobody knows the true story about Christ. So, yeah, they killed. They, you know, they, the Romans killed them. You know what I'm saying? But for what? What? Think about it for what? What was he doing? Did he kill somebody? Did he steal from somebody? All because he claimed he was king of the Jews. All because he said he was king of the Jews. And they didn't like him. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's going on today. You're getting killed or, or, or whatever because of something you said. You know what I'm saying? And nowadays, it don't matter whether it's good or bad, but if you're saying something good, people more so focus on that. You know, it's like you're taking away from them. You're taking that energy. He takes that energy from y'all. Y'all don't like that. You know what I'm saying? The reason why it don't affect me, because I'm not hitting that. I don't have that kind of mentality. I'm not negative. You know what I'm saying? I left that, I left that a long, long time ago. You know, so that's what I, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. <laughs> y'all let that man mess with y'all like that, man. Come on, you know what I'm saying? Leave that man alone. Leave them dudes alone, man. Let them, let them do their thing, man. For real, y'all sitting there, y'all sitting there looking crazy, man. Shout out to Charles. Shout out to Dewberry, man. Shout out to their whole team. All them, all the people, man. You know what I'm saying? I hope some of y'all, you know, can learn from these guys, man. Take what they saying, man, and, and, and do something with it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't into all the Nipsey hustles and all that. I've never, I was never into all of that. So that's why none of that affect me. You know what I'm saying? I was never into that. But don't get me wrong. I think Nipsey hustle make good music, and you know, that's it. That's as far as it go with me. I don't know Nip. Be right. I don't know Irvis, I don't know them guys, you know what I'm saying? I don't know nothing about them guys, you know? So, yeah, I don't get caught up in their character. I'm only caught up in my own character about who I am, who I want to be, you know what I'm saying? So that's why they don't phase me, but y'all anyway, he gave, he did, and blah, 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 you know what I'm saying? But he's assassinated a character, you know what I'm saying? That man had to betray that character to get to that point that he was at in, the, in his rap career. He had to betray that character. He had to be Nipsey Hussle. I had to be Juice in the streets, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't be, you know, 
I couldn't be real. Nobody would didn't want to kid. Nobody care about you real. They want no juice. Where juice at? They looking for juice. That was my character, and I took that on. So I wanted to be that guy that owned the blocks. I wanted to be that guy. You know what I'm saying? Running the blocks. You know what I'm saying? Even though I did, you know what I'm saying, form all, like the guys are doing that, the little shorties, the young niggas doing that, forming their own cliques. I did that. I did that. You know what I'm saying? So I put all, I put my own clique together. You know what I'm saying? And we called it the Insane Murder Mob. You know? We was down for each other like that. We weren't playing, you know what I'm saying? But... You know, I was smart, you know what I'm saying? That's why I know what Charleston is saying, man. I was smart, it, but I didn't, it didn't take me to go to prison and to, to learn that lesson, you know what I'm saying? I sat down and came up with a plan. I didn't have no, you know, I graduated from high school, you know what I'm saying, but college, I, you know, I thought I wasn't smart enough to go to college, you know? I had a lot of insecurities, you know? I thought the streets was it. I thought I can get my manhood from the streets, so that's what I did. I went out there, you know what I'm saying? But I thought about it. Something else was talking to me in my head, said, man, this is what you want for yourself, bro? This is how you want to live your life and end your life, man? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you willing and willing not to do? What are you in this for? What's your goals? What you trying to do, be a kingpin? Or are you really trying to put something on the table? Or are you just partying and buying shoes to kick it with your homies? See, I had to you know, face those choices and those things was going off in my head. Man, I was all messed up, man. You know what I'm saying? All messed up. So I know what I know what the man is saying. I've been through that. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm tripping on like I can relate to it. You know what I'm saying? Because I was one of the ones to get in and change get out and change my life around without having to go through all the the, the, the pain, the agony, and the struggles. You know what I'm saying? So that's you know what I'm saying. Y'all need to just, you know, man, slow it down, pay attention, man. But a lot of that, the reason why a lot of y'all can't do that, because it's in your heart. That's why y'all can't change, because that evilness is in your heart. You gotta get that out your heart, man. See, I got that evilness out my heart. And I know y'all probably like, how you doing? That's easy. That's easier said than done. Okay, let me tell you how you do it, man. Forgiveness. Whether it's your father, your mother, banding you, using drugs, not taking care of you, whatever it is, man, you got to forgive that person. That forgiveness is not for, is for them too, but it's also for you. It's mainly for you. You know what I'm saying? You for, you letting them know, hey, I'm going to be in a bigger person by forgiving you, and I'm going to move on. But it's for you to move on with your life so you don't have that hanging over your shoulders, bro. So y'all need to pay attention to that man. This is some of that game he kicking, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm all the way from Chicago and I understand what he's talking about. And I'm hearing him. You know what I'm saying? The people in his own city ain't even hearing him. The niggas in California definitely don't care. They ain't hearing him. They got their own politics. They, they probably looking at me like, well, you in Chicago, y'all ain't no better than us. And that, I understand all that, but that ain't what this is about. So understand the topic. You know what I'm saying? Leave that man alone, man. Let that man do what he doing, man. Y'all can't put no money in his pocket or join him, man. Let him go, man, because you know what? There's too much killing going on. We don't need to do all these old folks arguing about what somebody's saying and what somebody doing, and shorties are dying, man. We just lost a 15-year-old kid not about a couple of days, maybe a week ago, a couple of days ago. 24 shots, man. They shot this 15-year-old boy 24 times, man. Y'all arguing with Charleston about some stupid stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. And y'all won't open y'all eyes up to see. Nah, Nipsey Hussle represented the game. That's why y'all going so hard with this, with that with him. He represented a game. And when you disrespect him, it ain't really about disrespecting him. It's about disrespecting that game. Like, ain't nobody stupid, man. Ain't nobody stupid. So, man, y'all go ahead, man, and you know what I'm saying? Just, just peep game, man. Leave that man alone. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm hollering at y'all, man. Real, real loud, man. AKA Tropic Canada, man. I'm going to change that too in the future. But right now, y'all know what it is, and I don't care. Do what y'all do. Leave me alone, man. I'm out.